Hey Cinephiles, welcome back to another exciting edition of Instant Trailer Review. I'm JS. And I'm David. And today we're looking at Avengers Age of Ultron. Yes, Avengers 2. We have been waiting since, what, 2012? It's for, been a long time. For the sequel. We yes. got the trailer. Now a lot of people at Comic-Con got to see a, a trailer, but we didn't get to see it, unfortunately. Yeah. We're finally seeing something. Uh, we read a lot about the stuff at Comic-Con, and this sounds very similar. Um, and I'm, this seems so a lot longer though. than yeah. what they saw at Comic-Con. So let's dive in. So I should say, first and foremost, that we should not be doing this until next Tuesday. But so the trailer yeah, originally, was apparently, uh, Hydra hacked uh, Marvel and took the trailer out because it was supposed to come out with Agents of Shield next yeah. week, and then it leaked all over the internet yesterday. But then Marvel put it up with a really funny Twitter post called, that said, "Damn it, Hydra," yeah. which is really funny. All right, so we're gonna see. We see some city. We don't know what this is. We've been trying what to figure it? out different skylines, and we don't know if it's Seattle because it beautiful. looks like there's a space needle, but. It looks so specific, and yet we don't know. Could if, be if somewhere you know, in Europe. Please comment know. below, because yeah. we'd like to know what city that is. For mercy. And okay. just like the first Avengers, explosions, people panicking in debris the streets. Debris everywhere. Debris. Now this is, we think this is um, Ultron for sure. Yeah. Now the plot of the movie so far as we know is that Tony Stark tries to jumpstart a dormant peacekeeping program. Things go wrong, and it's up to the Avengers to stop the evil Ultron. Now I think... Yeah. Ultron is originally created by Hank Pym, uh, Ant-Man in the comics, but I think in this version it's going to be Tony Stark who creates sort of a robot, artificial intelligence, peacekeeping robot, and he goes a little evil, and I think that's what this is going to be about. Yeah. So it's, they've been keeping it a little bit secret, but Ultron, I think, is made by Tony Stark. Right. And that's interesting that this is coming out before Ant-Man. Yeah. And so they couldn't have even used that to build up Ultron, but yeah, we'll see. Um, so first and foremost, again, it's starting with all this destruction. It's starting at a very dark place. Yeah, we're starting very brooding. And I love mm -hmm. this shot here. Captain America just looks like, I've been fighting all day and I'm tired. And we looked at the license plates mm -hmm. and we're pretty sure that's South Korea. Um, just because we know that Avengers 2 shot in South Korea yeah. and those license plates seem to be appropriate for that. And there's Hawkeye with a really cool lens flare shot. Yeah. And there's think Thor. Hawkeye will get some more screen time Yeah, this, let's hope we see around. more Hawkeye. Yeah. Thor's cape. Um, now here we have all the Avengers together on what is probably a shield ship. Yeah. And Bruce Banner looks like he's shivering. He's really cold. I guess maybe he fell into some ice water. Or maybe. he had just taken a cold shower. Yeah, because like there he is. He's like really cold. Yeah. Um, and I've read in interviews that the Hulk, Bruce Banner, is going to have a lot more screen time in this movie. He's going to have a lot more about his story. Okay. Um, now we only really saw the solo movie, The Incredible Hulk, with Edward Norton. Great so like, movie, by the way. Yeah, we both really like that yeah. one. It's unfortunate Edward Norton couldn't really do the Avengers movie, but now we're finally going to see more Hulk, and like yeah. we're still waiting for that solo Hulk movie yeah. with Mark Ruffalo. Now here we have what clearly is like such a, um, I guess marionette would be the yeah. word, sort of a marionette style Iron Man suit that's been burned up. We don't mm -hmm. know why. Um, that's a perfect description. I mean, the way it's holding itself and everything, yeah. and that's going to come into play later when we talk about the trailer's song choice. So yeah, and I definitely think this is probably Stark's apartment or something because we have like weights. It's very yeah. stylish, and like, everyone, all the Avengers are very shocked to see an Iron Man suit. You know, Tony Stark <laughs> himself, sort of walking on its own like a puppet with yeah. uh, strings. Um, now, if you actually go back and look. Um, you can see an Avengers logo. Mm, so right. they're now finally adopting the Avengers as like a brand name for themselves. Yeah. That, that's great. That yeah, moment, that's you so know cool. that there is some serious stuff going down. And look, got this, look at this Marvel logo. It's Someone like made out. of steel. Like yeah. They just took an iron plate and just cut it out there. They've gone platinum. Okay. Now, we don't, we don't really know what this is. I assume no. it's the Alps. It looks very German to me. Or yeah. Swiss or something. Um, Bangladesh is also on the filming location. Yeah, they so. also filmed, I believe, in Italy and England and Johannesburg, uh, South Africa. Um, now, if you remember at the end of Winter Soldier, mm -hmm. we sort of meet Baron von Strucker and the um, Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch, and I think it's this location. I think it's somewhere in Eastern Europe. Like okay. This. Because Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch are European. Or Eastern European, okay. yeah. And now, this Quicksilver in this movie is different than the Days of Future Past Quicksilver. Yeah. Um, a lot of people don't know this, but Fox has the rights to X-Men and Mutants, and Disney has the rights to these characters, mm -hmm. and they sort of made a decision legally that they can use Quicksilver in the same powers. They can't mention Magneto. Mm -hmm. They can't mention mutants. So these... Uh, Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch are not mutants in this version. Right. It was funny, actually, at a Comic-Con... Elizabeth Olsen almost said the word mutant, and yeah. everyone like in that whole room was just like, oh. But yeah, so different. 
these are different characters, even though they're the same. Yeah, but we, I'm pretty sure they're gonna have the same powers. Uh, Scarlet Witch was not in the X-Men movies, but we saw, you know, Quicksilver had super speed in that one, and I think he's gonna have it in this one, too. We can see him running. Mm -hmm. Now, these police, I assume this is America, because it, it's, I mean, this looks like an American place. And they're right but, outside Walk Tall. Is that like some made-up comic store or something? Yeah, so if you know what Walk Tall is, comment below, because I've okay. we've never heard of it. Yeah. Again, so more they destruction. Yeah, they took uh, some B-roll from the movie Fury and just yeah. inserted it in here. Great movie, why not? Now, if you look actually in this shot, if you look in the background, you can see, I think, a tank. Yeah. So I think, I think this is why Bruce Banner is shivering, because okay. he went into the cold. That, that would make a lot of sense. Now, that's Black Widow, and that's a really cool shot. It looks like Don Draper. <laughs> okay, this is going to come back into play a little bit later, because what, is, what room is she in? This is basically like a dance space, is it not? I mean, no, if you look at, I, that's an office. That's, no, look at that's the Sterling mirrors. Cooper. Those that's are the mirrors. shot from Mad Men. They're just, they're these are, okay, Mad these Men are mirrors on both sides. I'm, I'm going to come back right, to this. All right, thinks a it's a dance studio, and I, I say do. it's an advertising company, but okay. <laughs> either way. Now, this is, I don't know, there's some other movie that does this shot, right? Oh, a lot of movies. In fact, yeah. every single student film does this shot. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so put the camera and behind the is, wheel. Now, who's being operated on here? We don't know. Okay, moving on. <laughs> And that's definitely Ultron, and that we don't really know where they are, but that's got to be Quicksilver, and that's got to be Scarlet Witch. Yeah. Um, now, actually, another thing about this movie is that um, Paul Bettany is going to be in it playing uh, Vision. Yeah. Now, Paul Bettany does the voice of Jarvis, who's the sort of... Now, in the comics, Jarvis is like a British butler, and they updated it and modernized it for the mm -hmm. movies to be sort of a sentient, or like a artificial intelligence robot. Now, finally, we're seeing like a physical form of that, and I think that's right. gonna be cool, but we don't see it in this trailer at all. Yeah, we don't see all. Vision, we've seen concept art, and we've seen him, uh, I think a picture of him, and in the comics, Scarlet Witch, I think it's married to Vision, so I don't know mm -hmm. if they're gonna play a romance angle. And he's the one that Iron Man is always talking to inside of his suit. So. Yeah, so I mean, that's Jarvis, yeah. yeah. Um, also in Godzilla, they're married and they're kissing each other, so that's going to be weird to see them yeah. play brother and sister now in this movie. I'm sure we're going to get some super cuts of that. That's going to be some be... weird YouTube parodies yeah. of incest, for sure. Um, now this is definitely Ultron, but kind of like a like, like a different version that we're going to see at the end here. But as you can tell, there's a lot of Ultron robots. Yeah, they're and building up an army. Every, sure. every shot of the Avengers in this movie, they all look like astonished and like, <laughs> uh oh, and incredibly dirty. Yeah, yeah. So JS, how do you think this trailer is different than the first Avengers movie? Well, first and foremost, like we said, it is darker, like from the get-go. And I think the very first teaser for Avengers was that way as well, but it definitely showed the lightheartedness, you know, the fact that Yeah, it, it had a very off. Disney family feel, yeah. and this one's darker. Right. Um, there's also some sepia tone in this one. Remember, what were the colors like for the it Avengers? It was just bright. Colors, yeah, the first Avengers know? has sort of a blue and purple and fun, and like this one's dark and sepia and red. Right. Um, and now Joss Whedon has said in interviews that this movie is more inspired uh, by Empire Strikes Back and Godfather Part Two, and he said it's going to be more painful and more personal. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, that's always a good sign. If you look at Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, that was also largely inspired by Godfather Two, yeah. and it, it went some very heavy yeah, places. Yeah, okay, so Stark. There Stark, he is, looking yeah. good in a beanie. And then uh, Samuel Jackson, he's also, now I've read in interviews that he's going to have a smaller role in this movie, but Nick Fury Makes knows sense. how to dress. Look at him, he is cool. <laughs> um, and by There's this, Scarlet Witch. we don't have the audio going, but by this point the, the actual song has started playing, I believe. Oh yeah, so the, the music that's playing is um, I Got No Strings, I think, by Pinocchio. Yeah. <laughs> it's from the Pinocchio movie. Now remember, Disney owns both Pinocchio and Avengers, so... Yeah. They're allowed to use that. So um, they're digging into the archive. Do you think Pinocchio is going to make an appearance in this that film? That would be terrible if they <laughs> that did. That would be a but, bad idea. But basically, Ultron is Pinocchio in the sense that, like, a puppet coming to life yeah. and then ca causing some mischief. Okay. Um, now, Ultron is voiced by NBC's James Spader. Or, or sorry, NBC's <laughs> The Blacklist's James Spader. NBC, if you watch the <laughs> NBC does not own James Spader, but he, he's, he's on the show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's on the show, The Blacklist, <laughs> which is really popular. Um, now, what do you think of James Spader for this? Oh, it's great. James Spader is such a fun presence to have on yeah. screen. And even though we're just going to be seeing his, or hearing his voice, and I guess his motion capture as well. Oh yeah, he did the motion capture. But reportedly, when he showed up for the first day, he gave his performance and the entire cast and crew just like stood up and yeah. applauded him. Like they were blown away That's by pretty what cool. he did. And who, this is the Hulkbuster. Awesome. Now, we don't really see who's inside. It looks like it could be Iron Man's head. But from what we kind of figured out <laughs> is that um, it's possible the Iron Man suits become controlled by Ultron. Yeah. Um, Doesn't this remind you of the guy in the waiting room in Beetlejuice with the tiny little yeah. head on the big part? 
so I think so we 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 assume that Stark created this Hulkbuster uh, outfit to fight the Hulk in case the Hulk ever becomes crazy and they need to take him down. Yeah, um, which would make sense. And in the comics, I think that's the same thing. Here we have Black Widow on a motorcycle. Drop it in. There's Silver speeding. Scarlet Witch. <clears throat> Here's a random shot. Okay, okay. So Andy Serkis, usually he does motion capture, right. and there he is playing a human. This is his real face. A lot of people have never seen that before. And that beard, I mean, do we know who he's playing in this film? I couldn't find anything. Okay. Here's Thor, like, just taking a bath. Um, now okay. this ballet sequence is very random. We, right, you know what I think? I think this is Black Widow, like a flashback to her past. That would be pretty cool. And that's cool. why she's going to that dance studio later on and Th reminiscing. This is a different room. I know, but still, she sees any studio and she's like remembering her days as a ballerina. It's just, it's very odd in a trailer to go from action, yeah. action, action to some ballerinas. This is already a meme online. Like, I've seen this pop up in my Twitter feed so I many times. And I think times. that's Quicksilver playing piano, but I can't tell. Or it looks like I, it could be Captain America's hair. I don't know. Yeah, who knows? Okay. Some more, some more Fury, but this, B roll. Yeah, this scene excites me. I hope we get to see a lot more of Hawkeye. There's okay. back to the Hulkbuster. Now, if you remember, Hulk fought Thor in the first movie, and then the trailer of the first movie made a lot of emphasis on that sort of uh, fight between Captain America and Iron Man and Thor in the forest. So I think they're sort of doing that again about they're not always getting along. So are you guessing that's Tony Stark and the Hulkbuster? I, I think it's Ultron controlling Hulk. Oh, okay. Hulkbuster. I mean. Okay. But All right. More car flipping. Yeah. Okay, so I mean now it's just basically a sizzle reel of yeah. action at this point, which is not a bad thing at all. It's showing us a lot. So JS, do you think we're gonna see any of the Guardians of the Galaxy in this? Do you think Groot will show up? That would be too cool. It but would I, be cool. I would say no. I don't think I we're gonna see that this early on. But if I believe around May 2015 when this movie comes out, Daredevil comes out on Netflix. So yeah. hopefully there's some tie-in with that. That'll I really hope so. Um, I also wonder how Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. will tie in, because the greatest thing yeah. about Marvel is the shared universe, for sure. Yeah, it's very cool. And he makes reference to the no strings yeah. on me, you know. Which is just chilling, and I love the look of this Ultron yeah. robot. He's so menacing. Um, um, so this, this trailer gave me the chills the yeah. first time I saw it. And, I, and that, the first time I saw it was on the phone last night, actually, because I thought it was leaked. And then we found out that Marvel actually put it out themselves, and I was like, wow. So, yeah. A great first look at Age of Ultron. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's great. I think it's interesting they don't introduce the characters because you just don't need to. Like, it's interesting. Most trailers always introduce characters a little more. There's not much exposition, yeah. but it's it's just mysterious enough to be interesting. Believe um, it or not, this is the 11th film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So, and that's been in what, like eight years? Since, yeah. So, yeah, we, we have been well introduced to this cast already. It's time to just jump in for the latest adventure. Yeah, so I'm excited for May 2015. And all the, the, the next 30 Marvel movies, they already have the, the Captain America 3 Civil War stuff being planned out, and that's yeah. awesome. So I guess that's it. This was a so. great trailer full of images. Let us know what you spotted in the comments below. We'd love to see what you guys have investigated here. Um, but for Movie Clips and Fandango, I'm JS. And I'm David. Thanks for watching.